In this episode, I'm going to do my best to try and help you with something that you may just not be grasping in the trucking business, the CB radio. Now, the CB radio has a lingo all of its own. We're going to go over a few of the basic commands, so to speak, or the lingo to help you through it. So, now I'm going to play a few examples for you right now, and you tell me if you understand any of it. What? Nope. I think he said something about Smokies, hands on the wheel. Nada. What? No idea. Now here's a few of them that you might know. Yes, sir. Ten four. Now what's that? What's ten four? Well, ten four is the the one that I know that you already know. Ten four. Ten four means okay. Gotcha. Loud and clear. Roger Wilco. That's another one. But ten four is just about the same. 10-4, I'm watching your back door. Come on. What does that mean? That means, okay, I'm watching behind you. Come on, it's just another sign for, huh? Or okay, I'm 10-8 and great. I think that means you're in service. I don't remember what all those mean, but I'm just going to try and get through some of the other lingo. Oh, one important thing. Smokey and the Bandit. Everybody was 10-4, good buddy. Appreciate it. Well... This is 2019. 10-4 still applies. I appreciate it as a way of thanking it. And you're going to hear every truck driver in the world say, I appreciate it. Appreciate it means just that. I appreciate it. But good buddy? Nah. You don't want anybody calling you a good buddy. If anybody calls you a good buddy, <laughs> that means they want to be your buddy. Interesting. What? Maybe you do want to be a buddy, but... Most people aren't going to want to be that kind of buddy. 10-4 back door kind of good buddy? Not for me, thanks. Maybe for you, that's okay. But if anybody's calling you a good buddy, it's probably in a derogatory fashion. I hear that, I do. Yep, come on. I hear that, I do. Come on. That translates to, yes, sir. I've been listening to you blab on for the last 20 minutes, and I'm not really listening, but I'm going to tell you that I hear that. I do. Come on. Hey, Eastbound, would you leave over your shoulder? Eastbound, what did you leave over your shoulder? So you're asking them, would you leave over your shoulder, meaning, hey, anything I should know about behind you that I'm going to run into? 16 in the middle there, Westbound, shooting you in the face. <laughs> What? That means there's a cop at the 16 mile marker in the middle of the highway shooting you in the face. That means he has radar, and if you don't slow down, you're getting a ticket. Not a shot in the face. At least I don't think so. I heard that I did, yep, yep. I heard that I did, yep, yep. Kind of an amen. Yeah, I'm listening. Yep, yep. Well, that's yep, yep. Yes, sir, putting her in the wind. I'm heading for the barn. Why are you going to the barn? I'm not quite sure why they say that, but because putting her in the wind is uh, is a sailing term, but I, I, I imagine it goes way back to when they were sailing towards barn. <laughs> no, putting her in the wind means heading for home and home being the barn. Hammer down, eastbound, your back door is clear. No smoke is no nothing to bother you. Come on, come on. I can't even remember what I just said. Hammer down means it's okay to go fast. I didn't see anything to bother you like cops. And uh give her. Apparently it's English. I heard that. I got that. I'm not making fun of anybody. Oh, no, maybe I'm a little bit. It's just amazing how many different variations of the English language there really are. Around the world, I mean. 
them accents. <laughs> wow. I wonder if I was to learn to speak Mandarin if I would have a Canadian accent. Just curious. Probably.